So now that we have three published places, papers by QCAA, uh, the 2020-2021 and the original uh, public one, what I've done is experimental probability. I've just uh, very roughly gone through papers one and two for all of these and assigned them uh, to the uh, approximately the correct syllabus places. It's not perfect, as you can see, um, one or two marks out uh, here and there. Um, and so when you add those all up, um, I've then divided it by the total number. And you can see that uh, for these ones, a huge part, uh, usually about 15% of any exam, has the dissociation constants and has uh, the reactions. So just the simple reactions of all the different functional group ones, uh, as well as the reactions uh, and naming for those and the reactions and naming for the biomolecules, so carbohydrates, proteins, etc. Uh, and so that's where I would start with these uh, red areas. Um, that'll get you in approximately about 30%. Uh, and then I'd, uh, secondly, I'd concentrate on the yellow areas. Um, and so um, that's sort of what I said already, breaking down the biomolecules as well. Um, electrolysis and um, galvanic cells. Uh, then there's always a little bit of uh, stoichiometry and lastly uh, the change in equilibrium all right which is sort of linked to this one as well all right so I would do that first as first priority and that'll get you uh, the majority of uh, any test that's coming up done uh, if you're looking for hundred um, percent I would just basically learn everything because uh, even if they, it is nasty and you do end up getting a macromolecules uh, question it might only be worth two or three marks but if you're trying to top the state I guess that's what you have to do okay so it's 80% uh, of the marks with only 20% of the effort but if you want to get that extra 20 put yourself in that extra top 20% maybe that's the 80% effort okay um, and so uh, in order to deal with those two those red ones um, I have it's a little bit rushed but I have been updating it with the corrections uh, to this so I sort of rushed the answers a bit too much and got this out quite quickly within a day or two actually so I sort of crammed uh, these videos out quite recently in order to be ready for your mocks um, and um, that's sort of an updated version um, with a few more uh, of these things added and uh, functional groups which I didn't think are necessary but my students think they are all right and, and so please make sure um, you study hard for your mocks because uh, it's spaced repetition it's going to help you for the real test uh, and who knows uh, with COVID it might even be the real thing um, hang on just got a phone call hang on just hold a sec hello is that QCA? Also, there's no external the mocks are going to count. 100%, I mean 50%. Okay, so the mocks are going to be the 50%. There's no external exam. All right, okay, I'll let them know. All right, so um, you guys need to take your mocks seriously. You just heard it. Um, I just got a call. Uh, there's no external, so the mocks are the only thing that count. All right, so make sure you do really well on those um, because um, that will be your mark. All right, um, just going over here, some interesting points. Um, first of all, these two questions here are very explicit mass stoichiometry and periodic table, uh, but they're in the paper. So I'm now saying absolutely anything can unit one and unit two could be in the unit three, four test, even if it's not meant to be, um, because that is absolutely nothing to do with unit three, four, really. It's clearly... Um, referring to periodic table, which is not unit three or four. Um, so just, you're gonna to have to know everything in unit one, two, three, four. Uh, to be honest, most of unit one, two is explicitly needed for unit three, four, but there was a little tiny bit that wasn't, and that ends up being in the test too. All right, um, this one here, don't take risks with the mark scheme. Usually they're pretty lenient, uh, not requiring sig figs, not requiring units, and not requiring anything else. And this particular one, they decided to add the substitution even though probably the formula is more important. So just always follow formula substitute units like you should. Um, and last, if you look at this, this is um, the this is quite a detailed one. Uh, if you have to draw a graph, you need to be very, very specific. Now I have taught um, 
I was going for these rules of thumb, which uh, seem to cover you for any, every mark scheme I've come across so far. Uh, so the weak base, uh, a colleague has gone to 12.5. Um, he says it's slightly better, but this is still okay. Uh, and this should, this in his opinion, this still does cover for you every um, question that he is aware of as well. So 10.1 uh, for the weak base. Um, so I would have started uh, 10 plus or minus one, I should say, sorry. So nine to 11, can't go below 10 because the PKA is 10 at exactly 10 mils because it's equal volume. So it'll be 20 is the equivalence point. Uh, and if you do a negative log of uh, 0.1, uh, you won't go below one. So you shouldn't go below one there either. Uh, and so um, that one was a, a little surprising on how much detail, perfect detail. So there was quite a few calculations and understanding that goes into that, probably worth a lot more than three marks actually. And that's it. So if you have any other um, reflections on the test that uh, surprise you or concern you, please put in the comments below um, and I'll respond to those. All right. All the best.